Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today is Mystical Monday, so I have another dream for you guys. Uh, but first, if you're not aware of who I am, my name is Lena. I'm a writer, I'm an author, and I am a speaker. Here on my channel, I talk about my experiences overcoming anxiety and depression. I talk about mindset. Uh, I talk about some manifesting. I bring up Neville Goddard a lot here on my channel. And I also talk about uh, my awakening experience. So today I want to talk about a dream I had uh, that I consider being an adumbration of death. So this is the second dream I've had um, in which I was what I perceived as a Vietnam soldier. So if you're interested in, in hearing the dreams, stick around. But first, if you feel so inclined, want to give this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate that. And, uh, and hit the subscribe button. That, uh, it would be great to have you uh, here on my channel. I'd appreciate the support. Uh, I do upload videos on Sundays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. Okay, so let's get into it. This particular video, I uh, was actually the second video, as I mentioned, in which uh, I was a soldier in the Vietnam War. So the the video or the the dream was in black and white. I usually don't have dreams in black and white, but this particular dream. And uh, the one right before it, which I'll uh, which I'll link to, uh, the it was in black and white. So I was a soldier. I was in the Vietnam War. I assume it was the Vietnam War. That's just kind of as I was having the dream. That's what came to me. Like in the dream, I was thinking I'm in the Vietnam War. Um, again, it was in black and white. But this time, I was. Uh, so instead of being on uh, the battlefield, I was in the country. So I was in front and I was, uh, I think I was by myself. Was I by myself? No, I wasn't. So there were a handful of us, uh, not like a large group of, of soldiers, but there was just a small handful of us. I was in the country and I was um, in the front, or we were in the front yard uh, of someone's home. And uh, there was a group of, of men on the porch. And I think I was arguing with them. Uh, that's what I had uh, had wrote in my notes is I think I was arguing with these men on the porch. And then one of them shot me in the head with a shotgun. Obviously, they did it because, like I said, I think we were arguing. But anyway... So when I got shot in the head, I put my hand over the wound and I wasn't, I wasn't afraid. I was bleeding profusely. There was a huge hole in my head, but I wasn't afraid. And I knew in the dream that, uh, that God was, was revealing something to me. And my, my thought was, this is an adumbration of my death to this old version of myself now that I am awakening um, to the realization of who I am. The realization that God is in me, God is in all of us. We're all part of the same awareness. And um, and again, an adumbration is like a foreshadowing. So a, uh, a foreshadowing of my complete death to this world, this garment that I'm in now, and the fact that one day I will fully awaken, God will fully awaken within me, and um, uh, when I, at some point, when I have played all the parts in this world that I'm meant to, to play, that um, that I'll be uh, that I'll be merged with um, the one God, the Ancient of Days, just as we all are. Uh, if, for you guys who aren't aware of Neville's teachings, I realize this may sound kind of crazy, so I would highly recommend <laughs> um, 
reading through uh, Neville Goddard's teachings, uh, not just uh, his books, but his lectures. So there's he talks a lot about uh, about death and uh, the fact that God um, is within all of us and uh, the fact that we play many, many parts until we uh, have the experience of God and are finally completely fully awake. So uh, that was the dream. I just, yeah, I wasn't afraid. Uh, even though I was shot and had a huge hole in my head, I wasn't afraid. I just, in the dream, I just knew it was an adumbration and I was happy about it because I am really uh, enjoying this experience and uh, coming to all these, these new realizations and um, having such peace in my life and not being afraid of, of anything really and I'm just I'm excited about the future I really am and for somebody who spent four decades dealing with anxiety and depression uh, I have to say that this is way better and again I understand that that not everybody will get it um, my videos aren't for everybody um, but I mean you may have be having some dreams too that seem kind of out there and um that fig you know maybe you might be curious as to what some of the symbolism is in the dreams as well uh, again dreams aren't always to be taken uh, completely literally and not everything in dreams are meant to tell us something i've talked talked about that in previous videos um this is just my experience uh this is just what I think and, and what I feel about this dream, uh, other dreams I've had and experiences, they're mine. Um, but I put them out here just in case anybody else is, is interested or has had similar experiences. So, um, so yeah. All right. So I'm going to log off cause I am rambling a little bit little tired today um but i'm gonna log off of this video and i will see you guys in the next one i hope all you guys are staying um healthy and safe and uh see you next monday uh, uh oh unless you're back for my wednesday and sunday videos <laughs> all right i'll see you guys soon all right bye